Thank you for watching this video and today I'm going to answer a question. Should I upgrade to the Raspberry Pi 3? So here is some specifications of the 2, 3 and 0. All very good boards and very well priced. The Zero, you might have noticed this straight away, which is one of the first things I noticed. Wow, it's a lot cheaper, isn't it? $5 was the introductory price. Uh, if you compare that to the two and three, which are both at 35, how cheap can you make it? I mean, that is just ridiculously cheap. A $5 computer, that's cheaper than, the, cheaper than a mouse and a keyboard. That, that's just ridiculous, isn't it? But, um... The two and three are both 35, which is also very, very cheap. The, the, the Raspberry Pi two and three were released in February in 2015 and then 2016. And the Raspberry Pi Zero was released four months ago in November 2015. And it actually came through with a magazine called The Magpie. I tried to buy it, but it's out of stock. So um, let's have a look at the CPU. All of them have got different CPUs. The lowest is the Raspberry Pi 2 with 900. Then in the middle we've got the Raspberry Pi 0 with 1000. And then the Raspberry Pi 3 with 1200. They've all got 1 gigabyte of RAM besides the Raspberry Pi 0 which has 512 megabytes of RAM. Similar to the Raspberry Pi 1 which also had 512 megabytes of RAM. So the 2 and 3 have both got twice the amount of RAM as the Raspberry Pi 0. Um, the power intake is 4 volts. 4 watts, sorry, not 4 volts. 4 watts for Raspberry Pi 2 and 3, and 0.8 for Raspberry Pi 0. Now, you may have noticed on the picture, I didn't put a picture on for the Raspberry Pi 3 one because there wasn't one on Wiki, but I didn't bother to put one on anyway because it looks the same as the two. But you may have noticed on the Raspberry Pi 0 that the, um, the header pins aren't soldered on for the GPIO pins. So, you do have to solder them on. So, if you want to be... If you want to be experimenting with it, you know, connecting some electronics and stuff, you will need to have a soldering iron and be decent at soldering. Well, maybe have a bit of practice because it's hard to solder header pins on, trust me. Um, with all of them, you can put on pretty much any operating system. Uh, you can put on Windows 10 IoT Core, um, additional distributions of Linux such as Ubuntu. Uh, so there's loads of operating systems out there for you to put on them and the Raspberry Pi 2 and 3 can pretty much run, uh, well, there's just so many. They all use a micro SDHC slot for uh, reading the operating system, that's what you put it on. And of course you need a computer to put the operating system on to the micro SD card. I did read an article online that said the Raspberry Pi 3 is the first Raspberry Pi to perform like a desktop computer. Um, as you can see with the specifications, it has actually got high specs, so it is the best. And it is also the same price as the two, well, they started out at the same price. Um, so that is one of the general opinions of the Raspberry Pi community, that the Raspberry Pi 3 is the first Raspberry Pi computer to perform like a desktop computer. So it's, very, it's a lot better than the two if the sole purpose is to just be streaming videos, using it as a desktop computer, you know, using Office. If that is what you want to be doing with it, then the Raspberry Pi 3 probably is the best one for you to buy. However, if that's not what you're using for the Raspberry Pi for, and if you're using the Raspberry Pi for prototyping electronics, building things, stuff like that, then it's also a good idea to buy the Raspberry Pi Zero because if you're not after pure speed as a desktop computer you don't really need all these high power things in fact you could just go and buy an Arduino board go Arduino but um, you, you could get an, a Raspberry Pi Zero it's a lot cheaper that would be able to do stuff like robotics and I don't know blinking LEDs uh, any any electronics projects and stuff you'd be able to do that with, with a Raspberry Pi Zero and you wouldn't need anywhere near that amount of power if you've already got the Raspberry Pi 2 then you need to f oh, I'm not going to answer this for you because you need to think about whether you're happy with the Raspberry Pi 2 or you want it to be slightly faster perform slightly better because the Raspberry Pi 3 does perform better generally and it also has built-in 
Bluetooth and built-in Wi-Fi. So you need to be thinking about if you've already got the Raspberry Pi 2, are you happy with the Raspberry Pi 2 or not? Were you happy with it when you bought it? Or do you think that you want it to be slightly faster so that you, it, you, know, you can do more with it, you can it perform better as a desktop computer? So in conclusion, if you've got the Raspberry Pi 1, upgrade definitely to the Raspberry Pi 3 or 0. If you've got a Raspberry Pi 2, you need to think about whether you're happy with it or not, or whether you want a faster computer. And if you've got the 0, you need to think about whether you want to just use it for Raspberry Pi for robotics and electronics prototyping, or whether you actually want it as a desktop computer. If you do want it as a desktop computer, get the Raspberry Pi 3. Thanks so much for watching, see you next time.